Hi, uh, this is my first video. I'm going to show you how to propagate your Haworthia. This is, I believe, Haworthia fasciata. And you can see it's uh, very elongated. It has nice growth on the top, but there might be some rotting going on in here. But as well, there's a bunch of pups or um, offshoots. And uh, I'd like to make some little plant babies to share and to multiply my plant collection. Let's begin. All right, so I don't keep my Haworthia completely moistened. I like to let it dry out. I think I did um, let, uh, did water this maybe two, three days ago, but it's been quite warm. So that's why um, it's a little drier and probably a little easier to manage. I feel like if you water it uh, right before you propagate, um, you might be giving some more um, higher probability to letting it mold or, you know, letting it uh, get infected with whatever microorganisms are in your plant or your soil. So let's just take this out of here. You can see it's quite dry. I have some small gravel at the bottom there to help with drainage anyways. And I'm just going to start by uh, cleaning away the soil so we can sort of look at how the roots are and the plant health. And it is actually quite dry, so it's been very hot. We've been having 30 degree weather. And some healthy rhizomes and some healthy roots here. I always get a little grossed out sometimes because I never know if they're worms. I shouldn't be that afraid, but you know, it's indoors anyways, but. <laughs> All right, just loosen some of this soil here. Nice sandy soil. And this was actually a plant that I got from either, I think the person, I, I got it from Facebook in a trade or something and it was dormant until a couple months ago and it just started with all this growth and all these pups sorry about that background noise there I think that's about it that's about all the soil I will get off because it is pretty caked on so we can see that there's like a dead leaf right here. Usually what's been happening is if I just give it a small tug, it comes off, but uh, that one's kind of in, glued in. Let's see if I can do any more. All right. Okay, so with the pups on the bottom, I'm just gonna try to tug it and uh, pull it off. I'm also gonna try a beheading with the top part here because it seems like a very nice healthy growth. But you can see over here, there's some root, uh, some rot actually. So I got a nice little plant out of there. Can probably let this callus a couple days and repot it. This nice little plant would be kind of pretty. Right there. Set this off to the side. This one. Here's another one. I 
here's another guy. They're actually kind of healthy. I don't know why I put this off so long. I was a little afraid. All right, what else do we got here? I thought there were more. Remove any dead leaves at the same time, probably. But um, I think that's about all I'm gonna do. This guy's very immature. I don't wanna chance it, or maybe I will. Surround a dead leaf. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, that might be quite dry. I'm gonna, that's actually a little wet, so I'm gonna keep it away from the soil off to the side. This guy, I'm just gonna twist. Yeah. I was gonna go with the, um, whatchamacallit, dental floss, but I think twisting works just fine. So you can see there's already a bunch of little roots sort of forming here and no nodules. So this will be perfect for uh, putting into new soil and just uh, starting a new plant. Perfect. Great.